Hi, it's Darla here on another video about aromatherapy. And today we're going to talk about lavender and its properties. So let's get to it. There are 300 essential oils that are being used professionally by pharmaceutical companies, perfume companies, and cosmetics. Now, Valerie from this book here, Valerie Wormwood, she has narrowed it down to 10 that you should use in your home. And we're gonna discuss this list of 10, starting with the number one, lavender. Now, lavender is my favorite, and I think uh, everybody's heard of lavender in one way or another by candles or perfume. But every home should have a bottle of lavender, especially if you have children in the house. It is one of the few that you could actually p apply neat onto a cut or burn or bruise without being irritated. So that's very helpful when you have children and they get cuts, you know, boo-boos, you know, bruises, they got bit by something, you know, you could put that on neat, it'll take care of the pain, it'll take that itch away, and it'll heal it fast because lavender is known to sell in the healing process, so there's less scarring. Usually you would have to have uh, a carrier, like, oh, let me get this here, which would be like avocado oil is a carrier that you would add your essential oils into and then rub it on your skin. Now you could use any oil, even olive oil is a very great one, or even cooking oil, which is corn oil. You just would not use bacon grease, a protein. Now, lavender is one of the few that has kind of like all the natural properties that you could think of. So it has, it's antibiotic, antiseptic, antidepressant, antiviral, antifungal, sedative, detoxifier. So that covers quite a big area. It's used in bacteria busters to beauty. So it's used for a vast range of items. It's one of the few oils that will keep you up or put you to sleep. You know, most oils are for either or. They'll sedate you or they'll give you energy. And lavender is just one of those that is dual. So you could put like two drops on a cotton ball, throw it in your back window while you're driving. Say you're going on a trip. It'll keep you awake as the sun hits it, the aromas go through the car, it'll keep you awake. And if you want to relax, you put about six drops of water in your bath and you'll go to La La Land real quick. <laughs> you know, it'll relax you when you... So the more you use will relax you, the least amount will keep you awake. And that's how that works. Now the, the oil comes from the lavender plant, from the flowers. Now these are f uh, fake flowers of the lavender plant, but this gives you an illustration of how it looks. It can be very dark to uh, a very light color. There's different ones. But this is what the plant looks like. Now they use that flower to make the essential oil and it takes 220 pounds of flower petals to make seven pounds of oil. So, you know, the cost is pretty reasonable. A bottle this size, <laughs> this is, uh, oh God. I can't even see. Looks like about four ounces. This bottle here would cost between 20 to $25, the last time I looked. Uh, 
normally I buy a small bottle like this and this could run maybe seven eight dollars depending this is a good brand here now and you could get these at your uh, health food store and you make sure it says essential 100 percent essential oil on it that's very important you don't want it to be mixed when you use these essential oils you're using only like maybe a drop or two at a time so when you get a large bottle like this, it's gonna last you a long time. I mean, my bottles last me like a year because you're just taking an eyedropper, you drop a couple drops on a cup, one drop on a cup, one drop on a blister or on a burn, it'll take care of it. Six drops in a bathtub of water is all you need in a, in a big bathtub of water. So it's like, you know, it's gonna last you a long time versus the cost of it. You know, if you have a headache, you could rub it on your temples. Usually you rub it on your neck, behind your ears are good places to rub it. You know, on the back of your neck, right at that top of your spinal cord. Uh, you can make, uh, make it, rub it on your back to ease pains and aches in your back. If you have arthritis, I've rubbed it on my, my hands before for arthritis. And the best way to, uh, to do your aromatherapy is by, you know, steam or inhaling it. One way to have the full effects of essential oil is to use it like in a bath and the, the hot water makes it go through your skin a lot better. Essential oils, you don't put it in your mouth, even though uh, lavender has been known to uh, be eaten, the lavender plant, they add it to food and salads or, you know, whatever. But essential oils, you don't normally put it down your throat. You're gonna put it on top of your skin. Now the origins of uh, lavender come from England, France, Tasmania, and Yugoslavia. That's where it's ma mainly grown. I mean, we grow it here in the United States now, but that's the origin of it. Have to excuse me, I'm kind of reading this. It is used for burns, inflammation, cuts, wounds, eczema, fainting, headaches, inflammation, the flu, <laughs> uh, insomnia, hysteria, migraines, nausea, nervous tension, infections, bacterial conditions, sores, ulcers, acne, boils. It's good for uh, arthritis. So it, it can be used for a lot of areas. So that's why I think this is such a good oil to have in your home because of all the properties. Now it was just kind of discovered by a French chemist and I'll put his information, I'll put that information down below so you can you know, look at it if you want. The story I first heard was that he stuck his hand, he, he was a chemist, he was trying to come up with a perfume. He caught his, you know, hand on fire and he stuck it in a vat of lavender oil that was there. And he was so amazed of how it healed and everything that he ended up uh, studying it for the rest of his life, the properties and and everything. But as I was researching, that story is not 100% true. He was a chemist trying to come up with a new flavor for a perfume. He did catch his hand on fire. And the first initial thing he did was roll around in the grass, which probably added more bacteria to it. But he knew enough about lavender to add it uh, to his burn and he realized that it was healing really fast and there was not that much scarring. 
So he purposely put it on there. It wasn't like he stuck it in a vat because who's going to have a vat of lavender oil unlidded with no lid on it, you know, laid around his, his lab. So that, you know, changes that story. But he did, you know, study lavender for the rest of his life. He used it during World War I to treat soldiers that got injured because the property of it healing, you know, so fast was amazing. So he, he practiced on World War I victims pretty much with uh, great effects. And my son's friend is air conditioner guy and he's always getting cuts and burns on his, you know, hands. And he would always, mom, you know, I need some lavender, mom, you know, he always called me mom, even though I'm not his mom, but, and, you know, finally I just said, hey, you need your own bottle. So I went and bought him a big bottle of, you know, lavender and said, hey, here's your bottle now. Quit bothering me. I'm not your doctor. You know? All right, guys, that concludes another video on aromatherapy. So if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you really like it and want to see more of it, I appreciate if you would subscribe and hit that notification button. And you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So I'll see you later, alligator. Bye. All right. Blow, blow, blow.